The powerful radio signal of KWKH is broadcast from the towers and buildings on the north side of the road. Radio station KWKH went on the air in 1925 with the call letters of its founder, William Kennan Henderson, a prominent local businessman. The Art Deco Transmitter Building and Chief Engineer's House were built in 1939. In the days before television, radio was the primary source of news and entertainment for families. KWKH provided this to people of Northwest Louisiana for many decades and still does today. The most famous and historic program to go out over KWKH's airwaves was the Louisiana Hayride. Originating in Shreveport's Municipal Auditorium, Louisiana Hayride hit the airwaves on April 3, 1948. The Louisiana Hayride became known as Cradle of the Stars because it showcased young talent, many of whom went on to become famous country music stars. The Hayride helped launch the careers of such performers as Hank Williams, Johnny Cash, Jim Reeves, Farron Young, Johnny Horton, and even Elvis Presley, who first appeared on October 14, 1954. During its heyday, the Hayride was syndicated and broadcast nationwide and was heard overseas on Armed Forces Radio with KWKH as the flagship station. At night, this 50,000-watt clear channel station with its classic country music format can be heard throughout much of the central United States.